A record long streak has ended with the upgrade of a June tornado in North Dakota now reevaluated with a revised storm survey that makes it our first EF5 tornado since 2013. On June 20th, the tornado tracked 12.1 miles near Enderlin, North Dakota. It was on the ground for 19 minutes and it killed three people. While the initial survey suggested 180 mile per hour peak winds, rating it in EF4, a more thorough review of the damage just recently confirmed winds actually peaked closer to 210 miles per hour. So here's the path this storm took. And uh, again, this tossed several rail cars fully loaded with grain. They were toppled over. Tanker cars were lofted as an empty tanker car was even thrown more than 475 feet. This came as an EF5 tornado for the adjusted rating with complete destruction there. Uh, so the one rail car was thrown far greater than the distance from home plate to center field uh, at a professional baseball stadium. 50 United States tornadoes had been rated F5 between 1953 and 1999. And when the new enhanced Fujita scale was launched, nine more were rated EF5 between 2007 and 2013. Then we had this long stretch without an EF5. By far, the 2013 to 2025 drought of EF5 tornadoes was our longest period without a tornado meeting the highest level of destruction on the tornado rating scale. So it was a, a generally favorable streak without one of these EF5s, but that streak has since ended. And again, the storm survey initially uh, was done with an EF4, but a more thorough analysis indicates this was indeed an EF5.